Hi friends. Uh, today we will be discussing about different methods of gene transfer. So what is gene transfer? Gene transfer is the transfer of recombinant DNA prepared into the host. So why basically it is done? It is done to create a transgenic animal or transgenic plants. So today we will be mainly discussing about different methods of gene transfer in plants. So techniques of recombinant DNA technology. The DNA recombinant DNA can be inserted into cells. It can be done naturally in case of bacteria transformation by transduction by conjugation. Uh, if you want to learn about this, you can uh, visit my previous videos. Okay. Next is artificial methods. So these are the three important thing. Electroporation requires some voltage. Protoplast fusion requires peg. Next is micro injection and gene gun. In electroporation, we have a plant this thing plant cell so you can see the chromosome over here so there is an electric field applied as the term suggests electroporation there is an electric field applied and there is a pore created on the cell wall when the pore is created on the cell wall the recombinant dna which is already present in the solution gets transferred from pore inside the uh, plant cell and your uh, genetic material gets recombined with the uh, plant genetic material further when the electric uh, your field is discharged your cell wall synthesis occurs again there is a new cell wall synthesis basically this occurs when your electric field is discharged and when it is kept on a ice bucket next protoplast fusion what is a protoplast? A protoplast is a plant cell without its without its cell wall. First, we need to remove the cell wall from the plant. So, different enzyme can be used. One is cellulase is an enzyme which will degrade the cell wall of the plant. Further, peg polyethylene glycol is added, which helps in the fusion of the protoplast, which will uh, join the two what you call the membrane of the cell further your genetic material recombines and there is a recombinant cell further when your temperature is reduced your cell synthesis occurs there is a new cell wall and you can see over here this is a, a recombinant fused cell with a new cell wall with a new wall not cell wall next is your particulate gun method or we call gene gun this is mainly used in case of plant cells because they have a thick cell so in order to disrupt the thick cell wall basically we use particulate gun method uh, this you can see here uh, they use a helium gas in order to generate a high pressure and here we have DNA coated beads so this is projected towards the target cell with a high pressure so this will rupture your cell wall and your genetic material recombine plant transformation methods these are of three types physical chemical and biological mainly we'll be discussing few points about physical and your most efficient method is your biological using agrobacterium tumefaciens or agrobacterium rhizogens which are virus mediated so these are naturally uh, occurs okay in plant actually they cause crown gall disease in plants naturally further we'll be discussing about three methods of gene transfer first is your micro injection uh, using a pipette we'll be using a, in order to inject that holding pipette will be there and using a needle will be injecting that followed by electroporation and micro projectile which is particulate gun method we'll start with micro injection as i told the micro injection is a process of transferring 
the DNA into the living cell through the use of glass micro pipette. Here you can see the glass micro pipette with a needle. This is of 0.5 to 5 micrometer in diameter. Basically, this is used as a physical method. Okay, most widely used in case of animal cells. This easily penetrates the DNA into the cell membrane and the nuclear envelope which you are seeing over here and this cell is being hold or using a holding pipette okay to give a support the desired gene is injected into the subcellular compartment further your needle is being removed so this all is done in vitro under a yeah in the lab condition highly sterile lab condition now what is the application of your using micro injection this is frequently used as a vector in genetic engineering and transgenics in this method of gene transfer into the host you are introduced dna into large cells such as zygote mainly this is done using your fertilization process in animals like to create transgenic animal followed by electroporation a uh, widely used uh, method in order to transfer gene in plants when plant have thin cell wall okay it involves a pulse of high voltage applied to protoplast this high voltage will be in a specific range 0.5 to 1 volt voltage is applied to protoplast cells tissues this will make a transient pore in the plasma membrane which facilitates the uptake of the foreign DNA. So in a cuvette, there is a mixture of bacteria and your recombinant DNA or your plasmid DNA and you will be having a metal plate where the solution is being poured and your specific voltage is applied for a specific period of time. So here your factors affecting your gene transfer will be your voltage and will be your time this plays a very important role so you can see sentence over here the foreign dna fragments enters through hole into the cytoplasm and then into the nucleus this happens once your voltage is applied it depends on local transmembrane voltage at each point on the membrane further after once your voltage has been discharged and when your temperature is being uh, change from your uh, room temperature or your even a higher temperature to a lower temperature then your new cell wall synthesis occurs in order to select your recombinants from non recombinants you can grow the cells uh, in the specific antibiotic resistance so your transformed cells will express that specific gene and others won't express what is the advantage of your electroporation is your versatility. It is effective with nearly all cells and species types. Its efficiency, a large majority of cells take in the target DNA and small size. The amount of DNA required is small than other method. What are the disadvantage? So it has a advantage as well as a disadvantage as I told if the pulses are of higher than intensity if your voltage for example if you are talking about voltage if you give voltage more than one volt then some pores may become too large or fail to close after membrane discharge causing cell damage so if your pores generated are large enough then you are it may rupture your cell wall or uh, the pores fail to close so hence your gene transfer is a failure next is non-specific the transport of material in and out of the cell during the time of electropermeability is non-specific which may result in an ionic imbalance or improper cell function again in both of the case your gene transfer will be a failure where and all this is used? It is used in molecular biology. The process of electroporation is often used for transformation of bacteria, yeast and plant 
protoplast here we are talking about plant protoplast as well as in gene therapy also uh, this is used next is micro projectile bombardment or we call it as particulate gun method where a foreign substance such as your dna are introduced into living cell and tissue to high velocity micro projectiles here your dna your tungsten or gold particle is coated with dna your macro carrier after entered into the cell dna are detached from your tungsten and enter inside the nucleus we need to make sure these particles are inert okay you can see the overall setup here in order to generate a high pressure we use helium acceleration tube basically your pressure generated will be 4000 uh, not 4000 2000 to 2500 psi pressure will be generated over here a very high pressure here you can see a micro carrier here your dna will be attached here you have a rupture disk so once your helium gas with a high acceleration is passed your macro carrier will move towards a downward it will there is a rupture disk it will rupture the disk and there is a stopping screen this stopping screen will stop the macro carrier basically it will stop your tungsten or the uh, what do you call your gold coated thing only your dna can pass through the stopping screen and it will uh, go to the specific, it will enter into the specific target by rupturing the wall cell wall what is the application bombardment of plant tissue with projectile it is an effective method of wounding to promote agrobacterium mediated transformation so uh, when we genetically modify our agrobacterium to be patient when we uh, when we remove our opine or tdna when we modify our tdna segment in order to introduce our agrobacterium tumefaciens into the plant cell okay into the plant basically we use particulate gun method with a high pressure because it has a high pressure example transformation of sugar cane marester hope you have understood this concept this is a very basic concept you can watch a simple video also but there is there are minor minor things to understand so hope you like this video thank you bye friend